Welcome back, this is the Amateur Jack. Today we got uh, Zed Land and Gunslinger Suicidal. We're working on that, um, that there, that there gold. Oh, come on, I, can, I, I made that. Come on, man, I made that. Bruh. 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 <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Mm. Some days, you, you, you talk and it works, right? Other days you talk and it just it doesn't. And today is uh, it's one of those days. Today it's it's definitely what. All right, I did the last episode just fine, but this one for some reason it's just my um. I can't put the words together so great, you know. I don't know. It's okay. It's okay. This is this is what I am. This is what you're here for. You like you like you like watching me be a little bit uh, a little bit nutty sometimes, right? I don't know. I mean, I am nutty, and if you're liking the content, then uh, I'm sure you're enjoying it. It's the life I live, man. It's the life I live. Did you get not a single one of them? Thank you. That's more like it. I don't know. Sometimes, sometimes I just can't talk. And uh, I used to think that it was uh, it was because I was like self-conscious about my voice, you know. Still haven't worked on it. I'm thinking soon I might uh, might move to. Uh, oh, that was a sick. That was not luck. That was a hundred percent skill. I'm um, thinking uh, soon I might move to using my feminine voice. Um, like I was talking about recently, just kind of like forcing myself to to have it, and uh, so that I work on it more. I don't know. I don't really like it, so I'm not sure it'll help. But I'm thinking I might move to using it anyway. A few more days of uh, practice, and I, I think I might be at a point where I'm okay with having it as my uh, my recording voice, my streaming voice. Maybe I have no idea. I don't know what I don't know what it sounds like. I'd love uh, I'd love feedback, but you know. So and then the other thing is right with the with the voice, right? So let's say that I can like put the voice back into a point that it kind of sounds good, right? Like if I can get back to a point where it almost sounds okay. But then if I were to cough, <clears throat> you know, it doesn't sound so great. <laughs> uh, and I don't even think my voice is at a point where I'm totally content with it anyway, so... Who knows, dude? Who knows? If I laugh, you know? <laughs> it's, uh... Sneezing, yawning... Like, there, there are all these things you gotta think about with uh, that your voice, the sounds that your voice makes, and... How you how do you do it when you're working on a new voice? You know, it's like uh, if I'm gonna put, if I'm gonna, if, uh, if I'm gonna put on an accent, right? If I'm gonna hop over here to something like this, then uh, if I'm gonna talk about anything, then I I have it and it just kind of works, right? I can just kind of talk like this and uh, it just kind of works. This is uh, this is it's like a it's like a switch in my brain, right? I go from being my normal person to being something like this, and it might not necessarily sound like a, a great accent from anywhere, but it's very consistent, right? And uh, like the voice and the the word choices and the sounds that I make, they're all kind of consistent. And it's it's a voice that I've, uh, I've used, and it's uh, it's a voice I've worked on uh, quite a bit when I was working at uh, Tim Hortons, and I was on the, the intercom, and I'd uh, to answer the uh, the intercom and, and ask how people how people were doing, and take their orders, and then uh, they'd come up to the window and be like, oh hey, where's the person with the uh, the accents? And I'm like, oh, what accent are you talking about? Look, I was like 14 at the time, but that's what I did, right? Anyway, so it's like it's like a switch in my brain, right? Like I've got the the voice, and then uh, I turn on the accent, and then I, I have the accent. It's just kind of there. And uh, whatever I'm gonna do, <coughs> then uh, it's just kind of it's just kind of there. And come to laugh, <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, it's, it's kind of there, right? Come to do anything, it's just kind of there. And I need to get to that point with my uh, with my normal voice, with with my feminine voice, where it's just kind of a switch, and it's just kind of goes on and then I have it and it's it's there and no matter what I do it's just kind of that's what the voice is and everything that I make with the voice is based on on that because that's the like stat the the state that that, that my voice is in you know what I mean it's like it's weird but there's like a difference between this voice which is kind of something that I have to try to do and something that I actively have to maintain and then this voice which is something that I just kind of switch in my brain and then I have it 
and uh, this voice where again it's just kind of what I speak right so I don't, I don't know it's uh, very very weird to, to explain but there's there's a there's, there's a, a point when you're working on a new voice or a new sound or or something where it's no longer consciously making the the voice noises you know what I mean like when you're able to just kind of talk and it just kind of works and I'm not at that point with this voice yet and I'm not even at the point where the voice sounds particularly great so I don't even uh, I, got, I got work to do right anyway I got a lot of, I got a lot of vocal range <laughs> I got I got that going it uh, can be a fun party trick to kind of like switch your voice around everywhere you know and then you can kind of like throw in a bit of an accent with uh, with your like flamboyant voice and uh, you can kind of switch it around everywhere that you want to go. It's a fun party trick, but not uh, not particularly useful yet. Down you go. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. But uh, I I have no idea. And like uh, singing, I uh, I do a lot of singing in my uh, my spare time. You know, when I'm uh, listening to music, whatever, I, I sing along. Generally speaking, bop. And, uh, you know, singing with a new voice? Like, how do you do that, right? I don't even know. It's a lot of, uh, a lot of stuff, and I don't know. I, uh, I just, I wish I had somebody to, somebody who knew what they were talking about to, to, to give me feedback. And, uh, advice, but in person, in person, you know, it's got to be in person. You can't, you can't be online. Lots of people online who would do it. Lots of people online. I got, I got really, really solid friends online. I mean, I have really solid friends in person, too, but we can't... Unfortunately, we've all grown apart, um, like, physically. Geogra no, geographically, you know, like... We are, we are physically separated. We can't actually really get together anymore, especially because of COVID, which is really messing it up, and, like, they've got kids and stuff, so, like, they really want to... Like, babies, you know? So they really want to keep them safe as much as they can, and, uh, you know, can't blame them. So. But it's, uh, you know, it's a, it's, a, it's a project. It's a project with which to work on. It'll get there eventually. You know, every now and then I think about, uh, I don't know, like, I, I have the, the dem I'm demotivated, right? And every now and then I think about, uh, I've been working on it for like two years now, and I've only actually done maybe 15 hours of like practice. Oh, hey. Hi. Right? Like 15 hours of practice ain't that much, especially over like two years. Like if I were to have practiced daily, right? If I were to practice daily, then I'd be in a position where maybe I can move over to it full time. I don't know. I used to be uh, self-conscious about it. Um... Because I didn't feel like my body matched my voice, and or I didn't feel like, uh, you know, me as a person matched the person that I wanted to be, and so I was super self-conscious about, uh, you know, going by Charlotte or uh, calling myself a girl or, or whatever. I was really self-conscious about it because, uh, you know, I didn't, I didn't feel like it matched what I looked like and what I sounded like. But I don't know. These days, it's just natural. You know, every every now and it's funny because every now and then I think about um, how I used to be, and I get I, I get a I get a laugh out of it. You know, thinking that uh, there was ever a point where where I, I thought that like the other way. You know, it's just uh, and it's much happier as a result. Much much happier as a result. I could be I could be happier if I uh, you know fix a few few problems, but um, like by and large, pretty good pretty good. Can't complain. I mean, I can, but only to myself. You know, I'm the one that has to has to make the changes and fix things, so nobody else can do that for me. You want seconds? Got the hormones already. Hormones like uh Hormones are crazy, man. They're crazy. They make you use the washroom a lot. One of my friends, uh, she, uh, we've, uh, we've had, we've, we've made this mistake before using the, uh, and then dying. Okay, you're enraged? You're not enraged. 
Uh, you're gonna be enraged when you come past this, though. Probably. I don't know. Maybe. Um, and she had uh, she had no idea that it like made you want to use the washroom a lot, but she did know that it made you want to like eat a lot of salt. So like you're really into pickles and stuff, right? Uh, you'd have like salt cravings, right? And uh, I'm like, well, like salt and, and water go hand in hand. Like the more salt you eat, the more water you're gonna drink. Um, so the more water you drink, the more you're gonna use the washroom. It's just kind of they go, uh, they go, they go together, you know. But uh, I do use, I do use, I do end up using the washroom. I was looking at. Um, like various surgeries earlier and uh, like not necessarily specifically trans related but um, apparently they use fish skin for for like skin grafts which is crazy to me okay there's uh, there's apparently a husk behind us goodness gracious um, they use like tilapia skin for uh, for skin grafts which is I mean I'm not like a medis <laughs> medicine I'm not like a, a medicine professional or anything like that. Like I'm not a doctor or anything like that, right? But uh, really, we don't have enough money to afford. Okay, barely don't have enough money, and we got to sell, sell a weapon. That's crazy. Um, I'm not a medicinal professional, but that's insane. <laughs> you like you take you take skin from a, a tilapia and you just. You have like a burn on your arm or something like that. You just smack some tilapia skin on there and your skin grows back or something. I know that's a little bit more complicated than that, but not really. You know, at the same time, it's kind of not really that more, like really, really more complicated than that. It's kind of crazy. It's kind of crazy what we can do with uh, modern medicine. Like you take... And I used to I used to work with fish. I used to do uh, I used to work in a seafood department at a at a grocery store. So like, I've you know been around a lot of fish in my. Okay, we gotta we gotta get going real quick here. Because I don't want to be within your laser range while I'm uphill. That's a bad idea. I used to work with fish, right? So um, we're taking this tilapia skin and like. It's tilapia skin, <laughs> and uh, they're they're sticking on like people's burns and stuff, and I'm like, that's insane! Like the amount of tilapia that I've dealt with in my life, and then just like seeing it like strapped on people's arms, it's just like uncanny, you know? It's weird, but it works apparently. It works. Who's short of cash? It's uh, it's nuts. Money, anyone? It's nuts, man. Surgery is weird, and it's so like surgery is like, you know, it's a very precise art, but it's also just like not. <laughs> it, it it always kind of like gets me to see it because like some parts will be so precise, and the other stuff is like, ah, oh, yeah, just like wrap skin on it. <laughs> I'm like, really, really, really. Anyway, that's gonna do it for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it, subscribe to see more in the future, comment if you have anything to say, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.